Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial on Kittles. Um, in this video I'm going to be taking on how to take bulge out of the front of your skirt, like your pencil skirt, your C spaces or your straight skirt, all those excess you have in front of it. I'm going to move everything to the back instead of being at the front. So while you're with me, subscribe. That's the best way of supporting this channel. Please subscribe, turn on your notification, give me a thumbs up and also follow us on Facebook. So go straight to the table so I'll show you what we're about to do. So you can see I have my measurement here, the length of my skirt, the waist, the hip and the half length. Um, I'll divide my waist, that will give me 8 3 quarter. And my length I'm going to be adding plus 2 but my hip, that's where we're going to be having the work done. So this is my half length, where the band of my waist is coming from, that's 16 and a half inches. So I'm going to be having 2 inches band. So this is the waist area of my skirt this is my six and a half inches i'm not just going to minus six and a half inches i'm going to come up by 17 and a half because my band is supposed to come up from here so i won't be doing directly 16 and a half inches so it doesn't go too up so it's going to fall directly on the waist area so you can see this is one inch and this is another inch here that's um two inches off so this is my length here That will help me to get my hip length. My hip length, sorry, my hip length is meant to be 25 inches. So this is my 25 inches. I'm going to add extra half to hold the band. So this is my 25 inches. You'll come down here and take my measurement that it says eight inches. I'm going to mark my eight inches all the way. And then I'll roll this out. You know, on our regular skirt, which is the down part of our skirt, we could have this more than 8 inches. But because it's a high waist skirt, it's coming from the waist area, that's why we have this. So I've gotten my hip measurement. I'm going to come down to get my knee measurement. So this is my band off. My knee measurement says 36 inches. I'm going to mark my 36 inches here. And then come down. And I'm having 18 and a half inches. I don't need to add extra half because I already have half at the hip area. So I'm going to screw this out. And so I'm going to bring my tape down. When I see my two inches, you can see what my hip is saying 10 inches. So this is my 30 inches I have up there. Don't get confused, it's not 28. When I minus my band, I'm on my 30 inches, but you can see my 2 inches is off. And then I'll be on my 30 inches here. But when I bring my tape down, it becomes 28. You can see because I've removed the 2 inches. So that will serve as a band. And I'll bring this. Then I'm going to add my two inches for him in. Then all points are ready. So now let's start getting our measurements at the right angles. So the waist says um, 35 inches. I'm going to be having three um, eight three quarter after dividing into four. This is my eight three quarter. I'll mark it here. Add my dot and then my one inch same allowance. Then I'll come to the hip that says 42. That's where we are pointing at. So this is my 42 here. This is my 42. I'm going to divide it into two. Because if you notice, the back side of our body is bigger than the front side. The front side is flat and the back side is a shooting area. So I'm going to make, divide this into two. While I divide into two, I'm having 31 inches here. I'm going to take one inch off to give extra seat at the back. And then that one inch off that is going off is taking off the excess that is going to be at the front. Because the measurement at the back is different from that of the front. So I've taken off my one inch. What I'm going to be having for the front is going to be 10 inches when I divide this 20 into two. You can see it. 
I have 10 inches, so I'm going to place my 10 inches here and then add my 1 inch seam allowance and then I'll connect this together and then my hip says 10 inches here, I will come down here and take 8.5 inches so that I can have ease if you're making a pencil if you're not making a pencil sketch, so all you just need to do is take off 1 inch at the knee area which is 9 off my 10 inches and then I'm going to add 1 inch per seam and then I'll connect it this way this and then I'll come to the downside and just make it 8 and a half inches here and then add another 1 inch per seam so this is it I'm going to connect it all here so we've gotten the length and every other part. And this is the main focus to take off our essence. So I'm going to cut this out and then show you how to apply it at the back side in order to get back the inch we took out of here. So I'll cut this out. This is now the shape of this. I don't think this place doesn't have shape. When you pick your that, the shape will definitely come out. So I'm going to take this and place on another paper to show you how the back look like and so we have the back part ready I'm going to measure out two and a half inches some of you could be asking why would my zip allowance be two and a half inches it's actually not two and a half inches but I'm going to measure two and a half inches all the way from the beginning the upside of this which is the waist side down to the length of the skirt but when you're making a six pieces, the two and a half inches stops around the knee area because from that angle of the knee area is where we have our uh, act coming out like a flay. So I'm going to roll this straight. And so I've gotten my two and a half inches straight out and I'll pin this. I'll pin it from that line and then I'll come to the point side of my knee measurements, my knee line, my hip line. This is where we have it. I'm going to show you. The one inch I took at the front side becomes this. My 42 comes back. Can you see it? This is the 42. So I won't just keep the half inch there. I'm going to be adding one inch here. Can you see the 42 is here so we we'll take it to the back which is giving us one inch to add to that to the area that we took from the front side goes to the back serves as the shooting relaxation at, of the buttocks at the back and then I still have my one and a half inches for my zip allowance so I'll come to my waist area and measure out one and a half inches one and a half inches I come down to the nail as well measure one and a half I take it all the way down one and a half inches and then I measure my one and a half inches then I'll connect carefully so you watch so I'll rule this out so you see what I'm doing You find out that you have both hip at the front at the side and at the back side of your skirt so I'm going to carefully from there connect this to meet this point of the nail so you see some clothes that the back side is looking very very relaxed the buttocks have the shooting area to relax the ties and the um, the hip area has space to sit is because of this extra at the back and then it will still look good because the front does not have excess the back is the one containing everything if you watch some of our nice english skirts we buy you find out that the front is smaller than the back the back is bigger than the front that's because the excess that is bulging at the front side of your skirt has been taken to the back side of it so i'm going to cut the back panel out so you see how it looks when i'm done so you won't be having issues. I'm sure this video will be of big help your skirt. This is just the best and simple method to take it off your skirt.
again then you notch for your zip allowance so it helps you to know which of the angle and then you take your dark allowance depending the um your nipple point so this person is a nipple point eight inches i'm going to be doing four and a half inches that's total of nine when i sew with one inch it becomes four that's um, eight inches together so i have it ready i'm going to take this off and so with this down part this our uh, hemming air uh, bring them together this is the front side of the skirts don't forget this is unfold because this is a pattern so when you're making on your fabric fold your fabric into two and then I'm going to bring this together and then notch so when I'm sewing I have any shoes. So, all points already. So this is how the back of your skirt will look like. Both sides having hip, or the back side looking more shooting out than the front, than the side of it. So when I sew my zip allowance going in this way, this is how it's going to be when I'm working with my zip allowance. So this is my one and a half inches. I'm going to be working from there. Connecting this way from the point of my zip allowance, I'm going in to meet this one inch and taking off my one and a half inch zip allowance, and then I'll connect carefully to meet the nail as well, and then go in. So, this is what it's going to give you that's easy, still there, and then you still have your one inch, and then you have space to move. You know, as much as the clothes is going to be tight or too fitted, you still have space to move after connecting your zip. You can see the space here. This one is a regular measurement from the front that's got it to the back and the space for the ties to sit down comfortably. So, my good people, I'm sure this video has really helped. Please, like I said, please subscribe, turn on your notification and also give me a thumbs up, big thumbs up and then also follow us on Facebook. So I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye guys.